boring but useful most of the time we do not need visualization right most of the time when we want to communicate something we don't really need to visualize it in a way right a table can be a perfect way of communicating data of telling a story with data and many times it makes sense and many times it also makes sense especially even if we have another type of visualization so we have a time series but we want to show the breakdown at the bottom just like you i guess you're used to it in google analytics interface when you log in you have a time series or whatever at the top but you can see the kind of raw data table at the bottom as well so you can dive into data if you want so in a table is are in rows which is like any other program that works with data so in rows we see dimensions the values the categories the properties of entities so dimensions are not just text whatever value which is a property of an entity is a dimension country is a dimension a geographic field could be a dimension it describes a property of something right for example a session happened which country from which ip from which browser from but metrics which are numbers they we sum numbers and we do calculations on them they count things that happen they count entities they the size of entities these are in the columns so metrics are shown in a table on columns right we can have grand totals we can have pagination we can have row numbers and we can have optional metrics in the table so this might be new to you in data studio it is possible so it's possible for us to maybe add another metric or remove users for example saying that okay we are not interested in seeing this metric we can remove it from the chart and the rest of the metric will remain there and recently the tables interface in data studio got a kind of a refresh and update and now we can have up to 100 metrics applied to a table and with that we can scroll a table horizontally so if we have a lots of metrics that we have to show on a table anyway it's best to at least apply the horizontal scrolling so that they do not take so much time or it's not so much cluttered coupled with optional metrics it can make a large table very much manageable okay this table just shows them right if you want to identify trends if you want to compare these numbers together especially for average session duration like we, we have to read each and every one of them and scroll from top to bottom to see which one is the highest value which one is the lowest value it's not really easy right it takes so much time now we are looking at ways that we can highlight values in a table we can make it easier for the viewer to read a table right especially if we know what they are looking at the first one is a heat map we can apply a heat map to any metric columns that we want it shows the highest values with a darker shade of the color that we select right highest to lowest it is good for quickly identifying high and low values but it's not really good for comparing different values the heat map allows us to quickly identify highest and lowest values but it's not really good for comparing different values because we cannot easily compare the shades of these four different shades of yellow or these four or even these two shades of blue right if we do not see the numbers if you do not read the numbers it's not easy to figure out which one is darker which one is lighter and by how much so another way of making a table and the values easier to read is by enabling the bars in a column right so each column we can choose to show it as a simple number highlight it with a heat map or show bars with numbers now it's really easy to compare side by side all of these numbers it, now it's really easy to see yeah despite these four different rows being around the same shade of color in the previous table but now we can see a kind of a downtrend from a top to bottom so it's something that really helps not only identify high and low but quickly compare and see the trends and patterns in our numbers and we can apply a target as well this is something really good so if we know that we have a target for a metric we can enable it and the way we do that is when we select the table we can go under this time tab and for each metric that is listed here so column one two three so for example for this one column number four which is final column i've chosen it to be shown with bars i enabled showing numbers compact numbers and I set the target to be 15,000, okay? So this is the place that we can select how do we want to highlight the columns and values in the columns of a table, okay? 
And finally, if we know what exactly are we looking for? So if we know we have a client that they want to look at the table because they want to identify rows or categories of values of a certain criteria, we can apply the criteria already and apply the conditional formatting to the table as well. For example, the first rule that I applied here that if the row is for a new visitor, I want the background to be light green. Okay, so if you know that the viewer of the report is interested in quickly finding new visitor rows and comparing them together, we can highlight them for them, right? If you know that they expect to see transactions more or less than a certain value, you can highlight all the transactions more than 100 and change the font of the metric for that column only. Or maybe anything lower than 10 grand in revenue, you can highlight it with red. Or anything negative, you can highlight it with red. Again, on a table, we have so much flexibility. We can define multiple conditional formatting rules. And for each of those rules, we can either change the background color, the font color for the whole row, or just for the column that matches that criteria. Okay. Any questions about the table? I'm sorry, I might have missed it, but can you show again where we're changing rules for the table specifically? Uh, the conditional formatting or? Yeah, the conditional formatting. It's at the top of a style tab. So selecting the table. Oh, uh, like similarly. Okay. Oh, similar right, right. to yeah. any other okay. component. Yeah. Conditional formatting, when available, they're always at the top of a style tab. And you can click on this and uh, access the list of conditional formatting rules applied. Yeah. Okay. Awesome.